All right, guys. So I'm going to unbox this Antec A30 CPU cooler, which has got this blue LED fan. I'm not a great fan of LED fans because uh, I prefer a uh, normal, neat, you know, without any light fans because I prefer gaming in a completely dark environment on my OLED TV, 55-inch OLED TV from LG. So I get the best experience doing so. And I'm not so much of a FPS, you know, sort of like tournament kind of a gamer. I, I'm more of an explorer. So I prefer the best quality graphics. And um, I don't mind slight lag or something. Although, of, of course, I don't like uh, uh, too much of lag um, in my display. So I actually use 444 display um you know pc display kind of uh, classification but anyway that's another discussion so let's talk about this cpu cooler i'll be comparing it with uh, corsair um, entry level h45 cpu cooler which i have uh, unboxed a couple of days ago but i still haven't uh, started using it so i'll be comparing uh, on load and um, idle temperatures and other characteristics like overclocking how does this fan perform sometimes i've got uh, uh, asus cpu cooler Let me fetch that one for you this is a very old asus cpu cooler i don't even remember its model name but this one is also a three heat pipe with copper plate heatsink cooler most of these uh, cpu coolers have aluminium plate instead of copper so this one has three heat pipes although uh, the heat pipes are not directly touching the processor for this one but it's all entirely copper plate and copper heat sinks uh, as well so if you can see in this asus cooler you have got the heat sinks also copper and you can actually have a push pull fan configuration so i'll also try to use this fan in some of the overclocking configuration but my biggest concern with this particular cooler is the fan uh, noise the fan noise is too much i don't like the fan noise probably because this is a smaller fan than i would expect so i'll try to modify this uh, cooler with larger fans or quieter fans but so far i haven't done it and these are the brackets which comes with them so probably this can also support am3 socket so it has got a couple of connectors one uh, three pin connector for fan and one two pin connector for the thermal sensor so i don't know why but it has got a thermal sensor separate thermal sensor so that also i need to see and plus it has got uh, these two wires i think to uh, connect with uh, external module so i'll be testing this cooler in comparison with the asus one i'll try to use them in a socket 775 situation using a core 2 duo and core 2 quad processors and also uh, compare with the entry level um, you know this uh, corsair h45 uh, model so i think this one has already got cut from here for some reason and amazon did not ship it properly okay so you have got the mrp label here so i'm trying to preserve this mrp label in case if i have to return it let me try to open it this way around all right Okay, so unboxed, sorry, the shrink wrap is gone. Now you have a Intec original authentic seal. Let me cut this one as well. Okay, this one is also off. And let's see what do we have inside. A booklet probably a quick launch or uh, details about detail about what is inside so you have got the processor 
fan sorry processor fan with a couple of clips so i think in a normal am4 socket uh, board which i will be first testing it on you don't need to do anything you just need to clip on these two clips and just go with it so this fan will face your um, front of the cabinet and the blue uh, it, it will blow the hot air outside using the back which is as for me the most ideal situation although i prefer stock coolers which throw air across especially if you have got a north bridge a passive north bridge with heat pipe pipe construction and you have got um, different steps amd and intel step one I don't know what does it say. Step one. You actually put these things for Intel. Step two for Intel is this one. So AMD, I think you just need to connect. So that's why it doesn't say anything else. For Intel, of course, you need to connect this ring. I think this will work for both socket 775 and 1150, 1151 or likewise sockets so you actually connect this link and it, it has got those uh, holding um, brackets those uh, notches here on both the sides and you either screw them or you put these tabs there step 3 and step 4 for AMD and Intel step 5 so basically AMD you just connect the fan module and uh, yep just just latch them on so this is how it will work so anyway a very very basic quick install guide oh, i think this is the fan it's inside this protection very basic as compared to the asus one asus one is very very strong and heavy all copper construction very thick as well quite a lot of difference so I will definitely try to use this Asus one as well I didn't like the Asus one because of, of course it was actually reducing the temperatures but for some reason it was actually not working well in overclocking I, I was seeing more stability issues as compared to the stock cooler for some reason um, the overclocking was not stable probably because uh, the heat spreading was not proper so I'll have to test it again but yeah that was my initial in impression so this one is actually nothing as compared to Asus one because uh, the heat spreader is quite thick strong and heavy this one is I think uh, at least four times heavier and bigger than uh, this one I won't be surprised if it is actually 10 times so I'll actually measure the weights so what else do we have inside we have got this ring with these clips so we actually put the fan module there on those clips so you need to install uh, looking about uh, basically taking care of the orientation so if you want basically you can actually you know switch 90 degrees like this and install the fan modules with orientation you have got one heat sink compound and tech heat sink compound which is good and you have got these four latches just like uh, um, Intel processor motherboard and you have got these um, rivets to push into those latches almost like the AMD thing you have got one sticker and tech try to focus it past inspection sticker I don't know why it's there and you have got a silica gel thing inside that's it so i'll be testing it um, so the heat it has got only a couple of heat pipes as compared to asus which has got three heat pipes and an aluminium uh, heat spreader or heat sink so heat spreader is on processor now one good thing is that this aluminium heat uh, heat sink is actually quite tall so this passive module is taller than this asus one in asus one you have got one metal block of copper and then you have got this tall design to connect to this huge heavy 
you know this uh, copper block to dissipate the heat so i think this one is actually quite good even in current standards so i will definitely be exploring probably removing this plastic shell and see if uh, i can actually take care of the um overclocking stability issue so it was definitely uh, when i had tested it uh, first it was definitely uh, reducing the temperature by up to 25 degrees or so uh, as compared to the stock cooler so 